Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. So thank you very much guys for being here. I'm gonna do your love and romance reading for the next 15 days. And let's get three cards from this deck. Alright, this is for um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please give me three cards. Okay. That jumped right out. And last one. Alright, so we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. So there's an energy here of going to a vacation with this new person. Or you could have met this new person at a vacation. You feel like you've met them before though. So there's like a deja vu of some sort here when you met this person. You may feel like they're a new person, but... It looks like you've met, uh, you've met them in the past, in your past lives, in, if you believe in in that. So please give us. Um, this is a fairy tale card, and I'm gonna get two cards here for you. All right, one more. Okay. Here. All right. So our first card is fish. Hmm. Interesting. Number thirty-four, and we have mice. Oh, what could that mean? So let's see. All right, so Aquarius, so number 34 means money, profit, resources, abundance. Wow, that sounds great. So, so fish remind you to take care of what you already have in abundance. Make sure you're surrounded by favorable cards. You may need to attend to your own profit and loss sheet if the cards are ill-expected. Wealth is coming when fish swim into your spread. Look to where they are flowing to see areas where even more resources might be found and utilized. So it's, it's going towards, you know, it's going towards the mice. So let's see what this mice mean. So mice mean worry, anxiety, theft, damages. Um, okay. When you see the mice card, remember... I say damages and losses come with this card, including the high potential for theft. Mice chew and gnaw, causing worry and anxiety. This card reminds you to be vigilant for someone maybe out to take what is yours. The mice card can also mean stress when it falls near card of health, such as the tree card. So there may be some kind of worry, worrying towards, you know, the, the fish, which is wealth, you know, coming in. Um, let me just double check. Okay, so it looks like, you know, um, do not take what you have for granted, take care of it. You may be worrying so much um, and the need is to focus on the now and be grateful for what you have. Um, that's what I'm getting, yeah. But um, yeah, let's get more cards, clarifiers here um, from the tarot deck. Let's do Celtic Cross reading for my dear Aquarius. Yeah, the fish and the mice is inter that's an interesting combination right there. Um, Okay, what is uh, Aquarius current energy? Aquarius current energy, we have the seven of wands. So it's like standing your ground, believing in yourself. Um, do not let the opinion of others affect your just your life, your decision. And it's the star. So you may be like, um, there's an energy of here of supposing to be with somebody. Um, you're finding your soulmate, you're having great relationship with whoever you're with, with this new person, and you're standing your ground in being with them. You could be dealing with the Aquarius energy, or this could be you, right? Like, you, you're quite confident with uh, what you are manifesting in your life. All right, well, that's good. There could be something that, um, that you are yearning for at this point, um, Aquarius, but I'm... I'm quite astonished because your card went uh, showed up, so that's a good sign, very good sign. All right, so what is the out? What is at the very top here? Sorry, at the very top, we have the emperor. So this talks about the masculine energy. You could be the masculine energy. Um, so there's someone here who is loyal, who is committed, who wants a partnership with you, um, a serious partnership with you and um, you could be married to this person so there's an energy of very committed in paper in words and actions so i think that this is for my folks that are married or is in a committed relationship with an emperor so um because this is the at the very top so this could be something that you are uh your desires could be a desire so let's see what the universe wants you to know what does the universe want aquarius to know 
we have the five of um, five of cups with the six of pentacles. So crying over spilled milk. So I feel like you know the universe is asking you to make a decision already. I mean, do not stay in the five of swords energy. You have to cross the bridge already, and on the other side, you will actually be given this gift. Someone is offering their time for you. Could be getting a raise. You could be getting promoted because I see the emperor card here. There could be a promotion for this one. So there could be like a pay raise or some kind of money. Um, coming in for you and um this is very good so uh, stop the stop the sadness take yourself out of the blue what take uh, yeah do not be sad because there is something there's a gift here for you um according to the universe okay just a moment so the four of pentacles showed up so there could be like um your oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. um yeah you could be holding off on something here like holding on to communication i mean not communicating not taking a chance um let's see what's in the past here what would you like to highlight about clarice's past here please what would you like to highlight about clarice's past the page of wands so there was a new beginning a message um there was a decision that was made in the past where you kind of ventured into this relationship into this job into this lifestyle and you went forward and you're being dedicated on what that was and then um, the, it's the lord of dominion right so you're like taking control of that decision of that manifestation of that um lifestyle choice and let's see what the outcome here okay so you have the nine of pentacles mr and miss independent it's also virgo energy so i feel like you know, uh, it's talking about you as well. Um, you're acquiring all the abundance resources, um, being happy with your own skin. Um, I think that you're the boss here. You're the boss, Aquarius. And the judgment card uh, talks about um, you winning some kind of a test or some kind of um, a challenge. Like you're you're getting through it all, and you're um, showing up as this Knight of Pentacles. Um, there could be like a reconciliation coming up for you. It could be an old friend coming back as well. So let's get your animal animal spirit here. What is Aquarius's animal spirit? What is Aquarius animal spirit, please? Aquarius animal spirit. There you go, it jumped out. We have the wolf. Wolf. Pathfinder. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So, yeah, there's just this energy that I think someone will be coming back and you're like, no way, I have my own path, I have my own journey. Um, you could be a teacher, you could be a counselor, or some, uh, people um, seek for advice from you, seek answers from you. Um, you've got great perseverance, that's your secret power, and you have a love that endures. So that's really amazing, um, Aquarius. And let's spy on your person. Let's see. So we would like to spy on Aquarius's person. Okay, what is their person's current energy? What is a person's current energy? Okay, here. Ooh, I don't know. Are they on the t on top of the world? Like they're feeling so in love. Maybe they're like starting something that is igniting some kind of something in their heart so some kind of a message as well or a new beginning here they're being given this gift of a gift of of love or starting love of abundance in that area they're being could, can be like a, a huge amount of money that they are having right now and that they are willing to share it's something that they have never experienced before um Let's see, what are their thoughts about Aquarius, please? What are their thoughts about Aquarius? The Fool. So, they're taking a leap of faith, basically, towards you. Um, they see you as the perfect wife material here, Aquarius, and they see how, like, you're the package. You're the complete package. That's what I see here. And they're taking a leap of faith towards you. They see you as their um, empress. So we have the emperor and the empress. And um, 
that's very good and then oh, what is their plan what is their plan for Marius please we have the high priestess so this person is very interested of you um Aquarius so they may need some time to look into this there may be some they need to find out something like they're kind of investigating here with the high priestess and they need to maybe travel because we do saw we did we did see the honeymoon card because it's also the honeymoon card so they may need to move to calmer waters there's some kind of a chaos that they're dealing with right now and they're very much interested of you here they're kind of looking into this like really looking into this hmm all right so do you want me to clarify that um we're getting messy here <laughs> so let's clarify give us a little bit uh, more information about the high priestess and What's this card? Oh, okay. uh, water sign, fire sign. Please clarify the. Uh, what's that? Please clarify the six of swords and the high priestess. What else can you say, please? What is it that they're trying to get away from, or why do they need to move to calmer waters here? King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, what else, please? Okay, so we're getting the nine of so pentacles and king of cups. So they could be a water sign, um, and there's a Vir they could have Virgo energy here. They could be earth sign, yeah, Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo. So new beginning, and then being balanced. So I feel like their energy is kind of focused on money and more logic Lo they're kind of logical they're being balanced in their emotion they're not too emotional at this point but they had an ace of cups earlier so that's yeah that's what i'm getting so however that resonates and thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys next time bye